Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope all of you are having a wonderful weekend and that you've received your ASUS ROG Ally on time and everything's going great. I know for some of you guys that's not the case. I know some orders have been delayed, faulty devices are roaming around. Um, I'm going to give you guys my first impression after having this for about a week now and uh, if I think that this was a, a worthy purchase. So coming from the Steam Deck and the uh, OLED Switch, the original Switch, and just playing handhelds throughout my life, I kind of have a high expectation for what a handheld should be able to do. And the amount of fun that you can have is honestly endless, depending on the on your, your situation, what you're up to, whatever. Um, so my, my bar was set pretty high for this. A lot of videos hyped this device up. And I think after having this, I, I'm just going to go ahead and call it, it's lived up to the hype. This has been a fantastic device. I've not had any issues. The only issues I have currently are just minor things like delay, dead zone stuff. Um, I've gotten used to it. I've been playing a lot of Modern Warfare 2 and Street Fighter 6. Modern Warfare 2 does deal with the uh, delay issues a bit better. Street Fighter 6, when you turn on the low input mode, uh, or the low, I guess, uh, it reduces lag, I guess. That mode runs fantastically. So it does have the capabilities to run at, uh, at, at a uh, lower in input latency, I guess I should say. I'm kind of fumbling my words trying to get that out. Um, it's just here on these home pages that you're starting to see that. Now, um, one thing that you can kind of do to mitigate that, somebody told me to check this out in the comments, and this was great. So in my earlier video, I mentioned that the dead zone was default set to 0%. If you set this to the lower one to around 90 or 80, it will recognize that you're at max speed way sooner so it feels a lot more fluid and smooth so if any of you guys feel like this is not as snappy set it to around 80 or 90 and you'll see it, it does feel a whole lot better so that is a temporary fix for that until they get stuff rolled out to make that a little bit smoother um honestly this thing has been eating games up the only two games that i've had issues with are destiny and battlefield destiny wasn't running as great as i'd like i'm going to be looking into that to see what i can do I don't like running these games at 720p. Um, I know that a lot of reviewers said, oh, just drop the resolution, you can't really tell. On the video, you, you kind of couldn't. This is a beautiful display. This 1080p panel is gorgeous. The colors, the range of darks, it is amazing. I want to use that full 1080p. If I have to use super sampling or, or fidelity FX, I'm going to, but I'd prefer not to just drop the resolution to a lower resolution, um, if, if at all costs. So. Um, Battlefield was kind of the same way. If you wanted to run it at 1080p, you're going to be looking at some pretty rough frame rates, um, around 45, 50. And um, other than that, I th I'd say mostly I've been playing Control and, and Call of Duty. I'm going to get a Control gameplay video out to you guys. This does single player games really well. Um, Elden Ring, beautiful game. Dead Space, another beautiful, wonderful game. Uh, Resident Evil, I've been recently getting into those. Uh, two, three, and four, the remakes. I'll get gameplay videos out to you guys on those. But um, I'd say that this device has really exceeded my expectations. Um, one of the things that really blew me away, the speakers. I won't play any music here. I don't want to get any copyright strikes or anything, but they sound amazing. If you have one of these devices and you haven't already tested just some music, I mean, the bass is as as expected. It's, it's literally a handheld device. It's only so much it can do. But on those songs that have really good mids and highs, this has Dolby Atmos support. So this sounds amazing. I was literally, it's just coming out of these little, this little grates here. It sounds amazing. And I was not expecting that. Um, I think... I, I think my first one or two nights, I honestly just stayed up messing with Google or Edge. I did not think I'd like Edge, but it, it, it is very wonderful. Um, I know that's a kind of a broad term, but I've just been using Chrome for so long that I didn't really realize that Edge was something that I might want to take a look at. Um, it's pretty, as you can tell, you can modify everything that you'd like. So that was one of the things that I didn't think that I would enjoy that I am. Um, I know some people wanted me to make a video on Bloaty Nosy on how to use that. I'm currently looking into that to make sure that the video is up to quality. And I, I, I just like to, to let you guys know, I am not that tech guy. I'm not, if you want to know all the specs, all that stuff, 
I'm not necessarily that guy. Um, there are people who do a fantastic job. I'm sure every single one of you knows ETA Prime or uh, there's other channels out there who specifically are stats and tech guys and they do a really good job at it. I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes um, because I know I can't do a, as good of a job as them. What I can do is uh, express my opinions and feelings uh, in a one-shot take video, which I feel I, uh, not a lot of people can do. So as far as um, making tutorials for stuff, if I have a good grasp on what I'm making the tutorial for, I'll feel like doing it. But as far as it stands right now, Bloaty Nosy has very easy and well-made tutorials right now. And what Bloaty no do Nosy does, say that five times fast, it removes bloatware. It's in the name. So Windows 11 is very full of all sorts of uh, programs and stuff that you don't necessarily need. Um, and what this does is it gets rid of a lot of those. So in the background, or just installed, after installing Bloaty Nosy, it got rid of so many. Now we just have this before you could probably scroll for pages. So I'd say that's definitely something that you're going to want to look into if you own one of these devices because Windows 11 was not made for handhelds. It really wasn't. I know that Windows is working on a handheld mode with how popular these are getting. It makes sense. I'd say they'd be dumb not to. Um, kind of like if you're familiar with the Steam Deck, how Steam has a big picture mode that is very easy to use for controllers. They're looking at working. I, I mean, don't quote me here. I'm pretty sure it's in development. Uh, or, or it's being in it's being talked about something like that uh, to the effect that we're hopefully going to start seeing that handheld version of Windows in these devices in the future and I'd assume that'd just be an update that we could do so um, it's all just going to get the grass is going to get greener um, they're working on if you've uh, checked their social medias and stuff Asus is working on getting software updates everything out to us so that we have access to more features and whatnot um, but for right now, as far as any issues that I've ran into, really not a lot. I'd say my biggest issue was the fingerprint scanner. It was telling me the whole time, oh, it's too dirty or it wouldn't work. Or um, it, initially when setting it up, I had to try two or three times because it was struggling pretty bad. But now um, I'd say if you're going to be setting up the fingerprint scanner, don't have your finger be pointed this direction when you do it. Point it that direction. Because when you first grab the device, it's so much easier to just set your finger on it there and try and reach and claw your way back and have the finger hit it at a weird angle. So I, end, I ended up having to delete one of my finger profiles and redoing it this way. So if you're having any issues with the fingerprint and it's not recognizing it and having you type in a password to log in every once in a while, delete your fingerprint scan and redo it, but have your finger face this way. It's a lot easier, a lot more ergonomic. Um, Impressions on the triggers, the buttons, the whatnot. I think the buttons feel fantastic. In a lot of reviews, a lot of the reviewers said that the buttons felt sticky, mushy, soft. Honestly, they're unique. They're probably, in my opinion, they're some of the most satisfying and premium feeling buttons that I've, I've ever felt on a handheld. Um, I do enjoy the switches, little clicky buttons. I, I do like those on the uh, joysticks or the uh, joy cons, I should say. But I do like these a lot. I like them more than Xbox. I like them more than PlayStation. I think they look amazing. They sound amazing. I'm, I'm really happy with these buttons. As far as the joysticks go, I guess we'll just have to see how long these will hold up. Um, if you've grown up playing on consoles, I'm sure you're familiar with, you gotta get a new controller every 10 months, 12 months, six months. It just depends on your game style and the games you're playing. Uh, I grew up playing a lot of first person shooter games um, mostly Call of Duty games. I was going through controller maybe once every eight months just because of uh, joysticks. And I, up until I got a PC, that was the case. I don't know how hard I am on these. It's hard to gauge. I'm trying to be soft with this device so that I don't have any issues. But um, as far as I know, the joysticks are replaceable. There's not any iFixit kits or anything like that out at the moment. So we're just going to have to wait. Um, so be a little bit more gentle with your device. I've made two or three videos now talking about the lack of accessories and cases and all these different things that the Steam Deck has, that the Switch has, that this device does not have. This is a very popular device, you guys. Um, with the amount of views and, and talking about this and pre-orders, and this has had a lot of uh, spotlight. 
Um, I should it, we should expect to see cases and stuff like that coming out soon. Um, again, I'm going to keep everybody updated. I've, there's been some carrying cases spotted on Amazon. Those just happen to fit the specs and they changed the name. It's a, probably just a, a Steam Deck carrying case that was very generic and can be used for many and they're just labeling, labeling it Asus RG Ally. So if you guys see stuff like that, please be wary. Um, a lot of people right now are just trying to make a quick profit. So if you see anything that looks like a, ooh, Asus screen protector, 10 reviews, they're like three stars, it'll probably be like the screen protector that I've got on the device right now. This is a, a Nintendo Switch OLED screen protector that happens to fit the screen perfectly. The bezel, not so much. I don't, I don't mind it right now. Uh, when my uh, one that I ordered from Amazon gets here, I'll be sure to review that and let you guys know how it fits. But for right now, we'll make do with this. Uh, I've been using my Steam Deck case to carry this device around. Um, kind of joked about that. Everyone, uh, who I, when I initially brought that idea up, I was kind of met with some, oh, it won't fit, it'll hurt the joysticks. It's just fine. You don't have to spend 60 bucks to get a, the Asus one, uh, the Steam Deck. If you, if you have the Steam Deck, it fits. It works perfectly. Um, as far as... Um, what I'm looking forward for in the future is just more game support, honestly, um, and, and just more optimizations, everything like that. Games that have been out for a minute, like the Call, like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, run fantastically. And and Street Fighter isn't that, that uh, taxing of a game. Games that are a little bit older, that have had some more time and love to get optimized, like Control, like these Resident Evil games, those will run fantastic. Uh, Diablo 4, where it's only been out a couple weeks, I'd say if you want to see a bit better performance, give them some more time to optimize the game, because that's really what it comes down to. This is a low-end gaming PC. That's what I will call this, because it is capped in certain areas. Um, they just need more time to optimize things. Uh, Destiny, though, I'm not giving them a pass, because that is just an old-ass engine, and there is no upscaling, there is nothing. I'm, I'm getting done with Destiny, time to move on. Uh, I've been a very big fan for a long time, and, I, and I'm pretty much at my ends here. The, with content, with how it's running on these devices, I'm just over it. I want Marathon, and I'm, I'm kind of done. Uh, you can let me know in, your, in the comments if you've been playing Destiny for as long as I have. I've been playing since launch D1, and just honestly very disappointed with the performance on this device running at 1080p. Um, it's not any fault of the device. It's really just Destiny. So... I appreciate every single one of you for watching this video. I hope all of you have been having a fantastic weekend and enjoying your device. Uh, like I said, try listening to some music. I think you'll be blown away with, by these speakers. Um, I think I'm going to leave this video today with uh, on a good note. I'm very optimistic for the future of this device. I think it, it has done fantastic, and I think it will continue to blow minds. Um, I, I, I really have been appreciative of all of your guys' support and comments in the description er, in the uh, comment section down below. Um, we're almost at 500 subscribers now. Uh, I started about two, two and a half weeks ago at five subscribers. We're almost at 500. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, if you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like. I post multiple times a day, just trying to keep up with everything. This has been a very busy week. Um, love you guys. Have a good one.